Good Monday morning, UACC. It's good to be with you again. Um, I want to spend the next uh, few weeks talking about an important topic, the topic of forgiveness. And we're going to talk about just one verse. Jesus gave us a model forgiveness on the cross. In Luke 23, verse 34, it says simply this, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. That one verse has so much in it as a model for forgiveness. And I want to reflect on it for the next few weeks and take a few different approaches to the topic. But today I just want to think about what forgiveness really is. How do we define forgiveness? And, you know, I've had a lot of colleagues and friends in the past who have tried to tell me that forgiveness is defined as a transaction that takes two people. That forgiveness has to be offered and received to be completed. And I thought about that. I, at first I thought, okay, that makes sense. And then I thought about it more and I realized that this idea is kind of flawed because it makes forgiveness dependent on other people. And uh, it confuses forgiveness with reconciliation. Uh, forgiveness is not reconciliation, it's a different thing. Reconciliation is in fact a transaction and does in fact require two people. You can't be reconciled unless there are two people involved. But forgiveness is just one part of reconciliation and it is something that can be accomplished all by itself. It doesn't require another person. Forgiveness can be done in the quiet of your own house all by yourself with nobody else involved. You see, the, the dictionary defines forgiveness in this way. Forgiveness means to stop feeling anger towards or blaming someone who has done you wrong. You see, that's something I can do all by myself. I can stop feeling anger. I can stop assigning blame. It's a cleansing of my own heart of bad feelings. Because clinging to those feelings, somehow I feel like if I cling to my anger, that that's somehow going to bring justice or somehow uh, let that other person know that there's something wrong or there's something going on. Somehow it's going to impact the other person, but it really doesn't. If I hold on to that anger and those feelings of blame, the only person I'm hurting is myself. So forgiveness is not a transaction. It's simply a decision to heal myself by letting go of harmful feelings. I define forgiveness not as a transaction, but as a gift. And forgiveness is a gift that you first have to give yourself before you can give it to someone else. See, until you have forgiveness in your heart, offering forgiveness without that forgiveness in your heart is just a lie. You can say you've forgiven somebody, but if you haven't actually done it in your heart, if you haven't given yourself that gift, you can't give it to someone else. So the transaction of reconciliation is complete when forgiveness is offered with a right heart and the other person responds with humility and contrition and the relationship is restored. That's reconciliation, but forgiveness is just what happens in your heart as you let go of those feelings of blame. So we're going to talk more about what this all means on a practical level and some more aspects of forgiveness that come out of this simple verse in the coming weeks. But for now, I want to encourage you to do one thing. Just start your day today by giving yourself the gift of forgiveness. I just want you to take a moment and think about, is there someone in your life who has hurt you, uh, with whom you've had an argument, who has somehow slighted you or insulted you? And they, and they don't even realize they've done it. They don't even care. Just like Jesus said, you know, they didn't know what they were doing. And they're not even thinking about it. They're walking around, they're oblivious. But, but you're holding some sort of resentment in your heart. You're holding some sort of anger in your heart. I would say, start your day today by giving yourself that gift. Lift up that person in prayer and let go of your negative feelings instead of holding on to them. And remember that whatever their sin was against you, your sin against God was much greater and Jesus forgave you on the cross. So start this day by lifting your spirit, by letting go of those feelings of anger and hurt, and by giving yourself the gift of forgiveness. And I guarantee you, it'll be a great day. God bless you all.